Well, here we are again looking at my 93 Mazda RX-7 engine bay. And today what I want to show is everything that's under the engine or under the hood that is not necessarily related to the airflow, which is what I showed in another video. So I'm going to show just the kind of auxiliary components. And on my car, they're going to be pretty much stock as well. So on a stock car, you'll be able to find them in the almost the exact same spot. So we'll start with some of the easy ones. Um, even as simple as right here, that is the um, radiator fluid um, entry. Uh, moving up, we've got one of the shock towers. Um, I do have some additional components. My shocks are adjustable, or struts, they should be. Um, but they're still uh, located in the same spot. Back here is the ABS unit. So that's for the brakes. When you uh, slam on the brakes, it pulses them for you. That's uh, found back there. You'll see this isn't stock. This is back here. It's connected to an O2 sensor, except mine's what's called a wideband, which means that you can measure um, air to fuel ratio in the exhaust much more efficiently. Uh, coming back up here, you got your, uh, I believe it's thermostat. I believe that's what that's called. But um, another point for your uh, uh, radiator, you know, coolant system. Here's the standard uh, alternator. Nothing too special about that one. I just put a little blue thing on the front of it, but nothing too crazy there. Um, some of the things are going to be a little bit different and located differently than yours because I put a front mount intercooler is uh, some of the fuses. This panel isn't located here normally, but uh, it fits there nice, quite nicely. What you also see back here, which your car will have, is uh, those are, let's see if you can see it, yeah, those are uh, fan blades for cooling off the radiator, so um, electric electrically controlled so they're pretty nice um, as, as well those are moved on mine. What you'll see right here this belt and this pulley here is actually the power steering pump and the power steering fluid is filled from right there. Um, if you do any work on the front of your car sometimes you'll see that whole system and it's a pretty cool system um, when, you, when you have to work with it. Here's some more fuses. This is also not done properly or in the correct spot um, so I know you guys that are smarter than me, which is most of you, um, go ahead and get some cringe, cringing going on right here because that is actually the hot wire for my battery. Now, my battery's dead, so it doesn't matter, but more fuses. The light's really uh, messing with that, but you can see that it's a fuse box as well. I relocated my battery because of my front mount intercooler, but uh, um, once again, you'll find you'll have the same components. Uh, moving over here, this is your uh, windshield wiper fluid. Pretty sure, yeah. Um, some more fuses and uh, relays. The other strut tower, we'll back up just to get a position on it. The other uh, strut tower, in my case, um, on both sides, you'll see that I have a, a um, an arm that can go across here. I don't use it often. This little guy um, is a friend of mine. He, we've had some problems and we've made some... Uh, had, fun, had some fun times together. This is a master uh, cylinder. It's filled with hydraulic fluid, um, not oil. And if I'm not mistaken, I know for a fact it controls the clutch. So if you have an automatic, um, forget it. I think that this only controls brakes, but um, on mine it controls the clutch. And if you look back here, you'll see a braided clutch line. Your clutch line is the same, but uh, mine's braided because mine decided to deteriorate and while I had my foot on the clutch, it shot me out into traffic. Fortunately, I made it between two cars. Um, also, this is a nice little guy. This is the standard boost control, or excuse me, whoa, 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 standard boost um, pressure sensor. So um, when people say, you know, you need a three, GM 3 bar for measuring all this stuff, um, this is the one that can't hold its weight. So it's a, it does a good job up to a certain point above stock. Um, some of the other components... Um, I'm missing my um, cruise control. It was added weight. I didn't like it. I don't use cruise control on a sports car. And, uh, well, that's really about it. Those are just basic components that you'll find. And I guess we'll, we'll finish it with the, the one that you'll, you'll know the most. It's the uh, oil cap for refilling your oil. So um, that's about it, guys. That's just a quick overview of the things that aren't the uh, primary components of uh, the engine bay in a 93 Mazda RX-7.